in this video here I'm going to go over negative SEO impacts on your website and show how to get rid of negative backlinks. Now with all these Google changes happening more and more, it's easy for someone to start pointing bad links at your site and their objective is to hurt your website in the SEO results, search engines. So that's where tools like Website Auditor and the SEO Suite come in handy because we can easily find all these links and upload them to Webmaster Tools. So I'm not going to go over how to add your site to Webmaster Tools. There is lots of documentation in Google and it's pretty easy. You just have to search how to add your site to it. Um, one thing that you have to take into consideration is if you have SSL on your domain or if you use www on your site, Google treats each one as a different site. So what I did was just made an entry in Webmaster Tools for each one and you have to verify each one as well, which is very easy. It gives you instructions. You upload a file to your domain and you just click on the link or the verify button once you've done that. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So back to negative SEO. What we're going to do is put our domain in here and it doesn't matter what I put in here. I can put www.offshoreseovps.com or www because I have rules set in my Cloudflare that direct everything to SSL anyways and that gets into some advanced topics but depending on whatever your website platform is you want to have it all redirected to one you don't want to have www and um, and with a non www it's just gonna make a mess of your SEO so look into your website platform and see what rules you have to put into your .ht access file to redirect to one or the other. So put your site in there, let that work. The first round is pretty straightforward. It goes pretty quick and just gets some basic information. Once that's, once that's done, what we're going to do is select all and actually we're going to rebuild the project. You can have your Google Analytics information entered in and find out which of these backlinks are bringing you traffic, but we're not using it for that right now. We're just trying to find out what the negative backlinks are. So just hit next. And this, this can go for quite some time. So I'm going to pause it. I've seen times where it's taken 45 minutes. Uh, it's good to run it. I run it once a week at least anyway. So I'm just going to let this pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. One thing that I didn't point out before I went ahead and did that was you need to go into your CAPTCHA settings here and select show CAPTCHA if queries are blocked. Make sure that's selected and then enable CAPTCHA recognition. This is something that's very important unless you have yourself a set of very good proxies. The ones that we put on here are good, but since they are shared with five other users, it may cause a problem with this. You can still try it and try and get away with not having to use CAPTCHAs. Uh, proxies will make it so that it will reduce the need of ever using needing CAPTCHAs because if you know how a proxy works, it's, your connection is coming from different points of the world all over the place randomly. So Google doesn't think that it's you that's automating your searching and the search engines. Um, but to me, paying the $10 a month or whatever for 10,000 CAPTCHAs is cheap and you never have to worry about it. So what I do is I disable proxies for the four applications in the SEO suite, including Buzz Bundle as well and just enable CAPTCHAs. It takes a lot of headache out of 
playing with the proxies in different settings. And this is really the only tool that you have to pay for captures for. Uh, we did try getting it working with our captcha system, but it's just the captures are really hard for search engines and the success rate I think is like two percent or something. So it's it's just better paying your ten or fifteen dollars a month. So now that you have that set, you can go ahead and, and uh, find all your backlinks. So in SEO Spyglass, there's a setting here called Link Penalty Risks. And there's going to be a tab here that gives you the percentage of what this tool thinks is a bad backlink. And it could be from you doing your own SEO with automation, but most of the time it's from somebody else sending negative links towards your website. And as I can see already, most of these are blog comments, which I never would put towards my website. And another reason that I know is because someone's using the word online casino, and I can guarantee you 100% that I would not be wasting my time doing something like that that's not related to my website. So what we want to do is get rid of all of those. So we're going to go all the way down to the 3%, which is the lowest percent here. Scroll all the way up. We're going to copy all of those backlinks. So copy backlink page column only. Get yourself a notepad. Paste them in here. Now that's not all that we're going to try and get. We're going to come over here to all backlinks. Click on this right here and get the highest number at the top. Most of the time, you're not going to want uh, any of these sites that have 12,000 links coming out of it. It's going to be a very, very spammy looking site and probably tons of blog comments and most likely it is a blog comment. So what I do here is I just scroll down and get rid of any of these high link output sites here. As you can see there, a lot of these sites are not related whatsoever towards hosting or SEO. So there's it's just all links someone's decided to point at my site. So I'm going to grab all of those as well. And secondly, I'm going to click on anchor text. Or I should say thirdly. So we'll come down here. When you click on the anchor text tab, it will group them all together. Group them all together. After a while, you'll just get good at looking over here and seeing what like what type of links they are, and just you'll be able to decide just by scrolling down real quick which ones that shouldn't be there. Okay, so here's some right here. Online poker. Obviously, that's not something that I want. So I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom of this online casino. Let's get rid of those. Keep going down. See, there's a lot of profiles there. Uh, what I would do is I would come back and you can also click on backlinks from blog and forums here, and that'll give you quite a bit of them. It's very easy to get them de-indexed or not counted towards your site.
Okay, here's another one here by Viagra. So since I already highlighted those ones up at the top, I have to do it single file here, but it doesn't take that long. Just hold down the Alt key. So obviously someone's put a lot of time and effort into trying to rank me for online casino and buy Viagra, but I don't think that they know that it only takes me 10 minutes to get rid of all these things, or else they probably wouldn't be doing it. And now you can too. And you'll notice also huge difference after you denounce all these crappy links towards your site. And if you maintain this and do this weekly or even bi-weekly, your rankings will be 100% genuine. There won't be any negative impact on it. See all these ones here that I've, I've already gone and done these. And I'm not quite sure yet how they get de-index from the search engines. Maybe Google de-indexes them because they, they manual, manually review them. But I do know that they don't count anymore. Okay, so now I got my list here. My file that I have for Webmaster Tools on my desktop. I call it Shady SEO. We're going to put it at the very bottom. Now we're going to save it. We'll find Webmaster Tools here. I got it open somewhere. Okay, what you want to do is open up google.com webmasters slash tools slash disavow dash links dash main. This is after you log into your Webmaster Tools account. So I'm going to do it for all three. And this will actually tell you which lines, which links in your file have too many spaces, or whatever the problem is with it. It'll show you. Okay, now I just uploaded it. You can also do per domain. Then just up here on the right, you can switch it to your other www and non www. And what I'm going to do is go through those manually after and fix these errors here. But for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show you guys how to upload that. And I think that's all I'm going to do on this video. I know I said I was going to get this video sooner, but I mean, obviously things get hectic back here and I do apologize. We're going to do another two videos after this one and go over Rank Tracker and Money Robot. We did Sanuk already with Content Machine. Um, I think that's probably, I think that'll be good to go over the Rank Tracker and a little bit of keyword research. It's been about a year since we did that, so I'll put that video out tomorrow and I'm not sure what we're going to do for the third one yet, but we'll go over something. I know that there was a lot of questions about Money Robot. Alrighty, you guys have a good night.